Hello again and welcome. It's me, me, it's Joy. It's Joy Ruffin coming to you from the Sunshine State, Florida. And it's always good to be with you. Is it good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, and maybe to some of you, good night. But all of you know by now, and if not, you should know. Always sending your way the very, very best. We are in the holiday season. So I'm not sure if it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, or good night. But wherever you are, I hope that you are in the thick of celebrating a season that is most likely a favorite for a lot of people, a large majority of people. And those that maybe it's not, they still enjoy the season because it's so full of love, compassion, caring, and all of the other good adjectives that apply. So this week, the word for the week, the food for thought, is respect. It's fitting in so many ways. But most of you know that for me, it's all about women, ladies, empowerment, leading, being the best that you can be, and all that you can be, standing in your power, your greatness, and all of that stuff. Love it. I hope you do too. So today's title for the blog is, Ladies Who Demand Respect for Themselves First. It seems to be very fitting, my friends, because, as all of you know, we are inundated in every aspect of the news with sexual harassment. Sexual harassment. Well, it's a good sub topic. It's a good subject. It's a never-ending one. But here's what I want to leave you with and give you some food for thought. Women who truly want to be seen and recognized as ladies need to take a good look at their femininity and embrace their sexuality. I had to read that because I wanted to read it verbatim. Take a good look at your femininity and your sexuality. They go together, and that's where your power lies. But not in a way that is to be shown or seen blatantly. And I'll leave that for your imagination. It seems today, more than ever before, or maybe because it's my time, that the word lady, people just want to throw it away. It doesn't seem to be embraced and cared for as it should be. And I'm talking about the old Edwardian lady. I'm talking about today's modern day lady. I want you to think about what that means to you and how important it is to you. And I want you to get back to me with your feedback, your thoughts, your testimonials, your, your evaluation of what it means to you. Because until we get this together, I think we're all going to be in a bag of worms for a lot of different reasons. That's leaving you with food for thought, right? I think I we watch 60 Minutes a lot. And I want to leave you with this because I found it amusing and I'm not going to qualify it. I'm not going to evaluate it for you. I want you to think for yourselves. And I can almost surmise what will come up. We enjoy Leslie Stahl. I hope most of you know her. Not so much her, but the show. Her too. But when this sexual harassment first hit, I don't remember verbatim how she said it. I don't know how she put it across the screen. But my husband and I both chuckled. And uh, we had a conversation about it. Because she said, you know, it's, it's relevant. It's paramount in our media today. And so it should be. And it's something that we all have to discuss and think about. And especially women who are raising young men, giving them the right tools to, to live with and respect women. And I don't know what or why. I suppose I've just been lucky or blessed. But I almost feel left out because I was never sexually harassed. <laughs> we chuckle. I hope you will too. Because I hope you'll think about that. There's a lot of food for thought there for a lot of us. So let me say this, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, enjoy your holiday season. I hope it's one of the merry, merry, merriest yet, and that the new year will bring you all the things that you're looking for. And you can be assured that I'll be back with you again and soon. Remember to look after you first, do the best that you can, and know that until you do, there's not much else you can do for anyone else. So be well and take care. All the best until we connect the next time. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.